Hello and welcome back to Tammy's Antique Vintage Dolls and more. And we're back with these eyes again. Again here, excuse me. What I did was I went around and around and around this whole thing in here. Got up across, up and in here just as well. And now we're ready to put in, and we're going to try the brown color. So let's put the brown in. Let's see if it can take it in. Oh, there we go. It's in. Yeah, I so heard now, the snap. Yeah, that's what you're looking for is that little snap of it going in. Now, there you go. You can either go, like I say, with your brown or your blue. Now, you have a place where to buy your pupils, and your doll is going to look fantastic again. And um, I think they're beautiful eyes. They do very nice for these doll, for, for your doll that, that you're restoring. Um, I'm pleased with them. Now, the next thing that we're going to show is... John is I'm going to take over the camera and John's going to take this eye off so you can see how we did this now Not all eyes are equal if you turn around some dolls eyes are different from others And we will show how we take this type off as well. We're going to discover it ourselves We got an idea how to take it off if you look down in here There's some little notches that we're looking at that we were look, talking about how to get this eye off And there is a way of doing it, but we have to also make sure that we can get the eye back on again we have an idea of what's going on here what needs to be done so but anyways we have that kind what's this one like oh this is the same style so i have some other eyes in here i think i got one more set here yeah well we, and again it's that same idea we think we have an idea yes we're real good at pretending we're yeah. experts yeah. here <laughs> okay but if you have these types of eyes that are that are really quite done i just start right in the center see and look how my knife just went right into that it didn't even struggle and you just start pulling this stuff out and you just start chipping it away it's just so rotten it just gives with the knife there's nothing left to it and these these eyes are pretty much all the same they're just rusted right through and all this stuff has to come out it does come out you, you know you can you don't have to have this tool that i have you can just get anything that's kind of on the picky side like, like you can pick with like a little pick and you just start going at it here and just keep going until you get this stuff all out. Just don't poke your eye out. Yeah, don't shoot your eye out. Well, don't poke your eye out, yeah. But anyways, it should be away from your eyes anyhow. But just the same idea. And you're just going to keep going and cleaning that up until you get that all out. And um, now because the bottom has kind of come out of this one here, um, I might have to put like a false bottom in. I'm not sure. We, 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 when we get there with this set of eyes, We'll take a look at it, what we need to do. But see, this stuff all needs just to come out. I've it, got a feeling that at the factory, they had some kind of a special tool that probably okay. held all the eyelashes in place. And then they were able to just stick them in there all or at maybe, once. And yeah. Hit or, it with a big glob of glue. Yeah, something happened they did. Or they had some pretty tedious women in there, you know, that... Um, you know, knew how to sit and do these things because, oh my goodness, they'll test your patience. Now, I was on this old doll, and the way that she said to do it, you just take a brush, uh, uh, like you can use a camel hair brush, nylon brush. Dodie even came up with a good idea with using, um, you know, fur. Uh, you can use uh, fur eyelashes, like from a fur coat. And, you know, you can pick them up at the, the used stores next to nothing, you know, like, you know, maybe pay five, ten bucks for them. You can cut those that, that fur off and use those also as lashes. Um, there's a lot of ideas um, you can you can use for lashes, and um, it's your decision what you want to use. Um, if you have a horse and he doesn't mind you taking some hairs off his tail, <laughs> you can use horse hair too because some of them were used. They did use horse hair. Yeah, that um, would work. Yep. Um, you can ask your horse and see what if he'll give up anything, you know, but yeah, it's just keep digging 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 Okay, so anyways, and then what you would do is, is um, find the eye the eye uh, That would fit into this, you know, and I'm kind of looking towards maybe this one right here And that would fit right into there if you get the idea, you know, uh, this is a nine millimeter this, this these eyes are a little bit on the smaller side But again, like I said, it didn't take much. It was just a tap like a See, look, at, there you go. And look at the big piece that's ready to come out already. It doesn't take much for this stuff just to come out. It's ready to come. It wants out, you know. So, again, this is just all plastic that is just dried up. It has no moisture left in it, nothing in it. The oils are gone, and it just needs to be dug out of these eye sockets again. 
Okay, so I hope this is helping everybody to learn. I can't see. Oh, sorry. Yeah, being left-handed, it's hard. Um, but you just got to keep digging that stuff out. It does fall out. Now these are transition eyes. Um, this is when they were moving away from tin, plastic, new, new material, materials were coming in after the world wars and they were trying them out and they worked wonderful during that time. You know, and they did. They had their time, they had their place. But now today we have to put something new in. But you gotta keep digging in there to get that old stuff out so you can get those eyes to set, set right in there. Just keep going around. Don't, don't, don't be ruthless. Just be patient. Okay, like go. the old saying goes, good work can't be rushed. Yeah, that's right. If you find that your patients are... Walk away. Yeah, take a rest, have a coffee, and come back when your nerves are steady. Again. Sometimes even, like myself, I work so late, I work until 11 o'clock at night, and something like this is not good for me at that time, because I'm tired. Um, I'm not... I, I feel like I want to do it my mind is saying do it but I I'm I'm not I don't have it and it's good for like I find this stuff it's great for my my morning my mid-afternoon and as the evening comes I'm I'm a little bit no I don't have no peanuts on me <laughs> I don't I've given Those you so crazy many squirrels just won't leave us alone. how many have to, do I have to give you <laughs> many 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 I've given you You've got them all buried in my yard. I'm going to have a peanut plantation. Oh, yeah. Our neighbors hate us. When you walk across the neighbor's lawn, you can feel all the tiny little peanut holes underneath your feet. They don't the hate us. Squirrels dig. Well, they're not happy about it. Let's put it that way. Oh, they're not. Okay, we're getting there. I can't see. There. Okay, I'm going to try put an eye in. Let's see. That's just digging one eye. It may not work. I can still see stuff down in there, but we're going to give it a try. Let's just try one. Oh, this is nine. I don't want nine. I want the, was it the 12? Oh, no, maybe it's the nine millimeter I did want, because this is a small one. Where are we at? Seven. This might be a part three coming up. Want me to get my measuring tool that I used to measure? Yeah, we, we should get that out. No, it's not ready yet, but that's about the size it would be about. You can see that that would fit. If I was to keep digging, that would go in, this 9, nine millimeter. So, um, what we'll do is we'll start a part three. And in the meantime, I'm going to keep work. Oh, a big chunk just came out. Look at that. Look at that, that chunk right there. Oh, Ooh, that was yeah. that was what I was looking for. Now it's starting to come. Ooh, don't want to pick yourself. Yeah, you almost got yourself. I know, there. I saw that. But you just got to keep digging away at it. Like it does come. Oh, there we go. Now the pieces are coming out. You just got to be patient with it. Can you tip it this way so I can see uh, better? I don't know if I can. But oh, there's another big piece. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. That's what you want. Look at that big piece. Okay. Now we can put that up. That that lens in. Let's see. There we go. Oh, maybe that's not. Maybe that's too, too small. Hmm. What do you think? That's too small. I need another size up. A little bit bigger. What do we go to next? How many millimeters was that one? This was nine. And the next jump up is... Oh, I, oh that's eight. Nine. I got to go to a 12? Oh, Seven, that's eight. Quite that's, that's quite the jump. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. I don't think that's going to fit in there. That's way too big. So this is where I, I don't have... I need like a 10 almost to put in there and there was they didn't offer a 10 in this that's so weird. yeah that's a little bit um the nine the nine went in but it's just too small so this is about a 10 millimeter right here so i'm gonna have to go back to their site again and see what i can get for a 10. so but anyways um just thought we'd show that to you um they can be dug out you have to like i said you just need something like this and um anyways we're going to come back to you in a little bit here and um with part three Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.